Hello everyone and welcome back to Technically Unsure, where I'm not really sure what I'm doing technically. Are you sure? Does this look unsure to you? Today I'm going to take a quick look at three Chinese gaming motherboards. It comes with CPU, some comes with CPU and RAM, some just a motherboard. It comes down to a very, very fair price. The issue that I see with these motherboards are lack of I.O. and a little bit extreme, uh, not extreme, a little bit high power consumption because the CPUs are a little bit old. As you know, CPUs are used and old from the old data centers. So they are just basically repackaging these motherboard bundles and selling it for like $40, $50, right? I already did a v review of a couple of those in the previous videos. So I'm not gonna do a very deep dive in this particular video. Like I'm not gonna go every single BIOS feature like PCIe bifurcation or stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure that the ports work, the motherboard works, CPU works, and maybe, maybe I will see if we can overclock some of them. Uh, just, I, I wanna see if everything works and if it is worth the price and which one, which brand is better. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, here are the three motherboards that I purchased. So the first one is AM Vids. It's 50 bucks comes with 16 gigabyte RAM and a CPU that is 2689, okay? So this one is Mogul, Mogul, whatever, 68 bucks, so more expensive than that. It is using 16 gigabyte RAM, just like the other one, but this one comes with 2680 V4, okay? And this one is 52 bucks, it is an ASUS impersonator, basically ZSUS now, LJ2011-3 Xeon 2650. So, 20, and does it come with a RAM? No RAM, okay. So here, so far, what we got. AM vids, 50 bucks, 16 gigabyte RAM and E52689. 52 bucks, just the C motherboard and CPU, no RAM, and 2650. So this one is Moogle, 68 bucks, the most expensive, but comes with 16 gigabyte RAM and 2680 V4. I just wanna very quickly take a look at these uh, motherboards and then take them, uh, try them and make sure that they are working and which one is actually a better deal for the price. Okay, 50, 52, 68 in order. So let's start with the cheapest one, I guess. Uh, open it up. Okay, the RAM is a little bit banged up. So yeah, the sticker is a little bit dirty, but this is eight gigabyte and eight gigabyte. Yeah, so as promised, 16 gigabyte used old computer server RAMs. Let's take out the motherboard. Okay, there you go. Okay, so the CPU, I wanna show you guys. Uh, it's 2.6 gigahertz, 2689, Intel Xeon, as described in the, yeah, AM vids. And what I see is only two RAM slots, okay? One and one. And, uh, oh, okay, this one has a little bit more PCIe slots than I, I anticipated. So probably this is X4, it doesn't say anywhere here, but I will check. And obviously, by the way, I've seen some comments and people saying, you know, yeah, these Chinese motherboards don't have support or, they don't have a you know warranty or whatever. Uh, my dude, this is like forty dollars, fifty dollar motherboard, and it comes with a RAM and a CPU. Okay, you wanna yeah. So don't have much of a expectation here. We are no support. Most likely there won't be, and most likely there won't be any warranty of any sort. Although they might have said that on the and the advertisement. I don't believe if anything happens, they will cover anything. But yeah, you're paying like 40, 50, 60 bucks. It is what it is. So if it is something you might want, uh, yeah, don't look for documentation support. It's not ASUS, it's ZSUS, okay? There's two RAM slots, PCIe X4, PCIe X4, I'm just guessing, and an X X16. Again, I'm just guessing, okay? And But most likely that's true. And the IO, they are all black, so no documentation. So I'm just guessing all USB 2s and they use the bandwidth for these. I'm just guessing again, these are guesses. There is a audio port, ethernet, I'm assuming gigabit, and P PS2, no VGA, and so we have to use the one, this X16 uh, for our graphics card, okay? So nothing special, uh, as promised on the box and the, on the listing, that's exactly what I paid for, AM with motherboard, 
and 2689 and then 16 gigabyte RAM. Although the RAM is a little bit banged up. I mean, not banged up, it's just a little bit dirty and old, but it, it is what it is. I don't wanna use any of my own stuff other than the cooler. So if they ship this with a with a bad RAM and it doesn't work, I'm just gonna chalk it up. It doesn't work because there are enough vendors for this BS. So uh, yeah, if this doesn't work, doesn't work, we move on. All right, so, okay, we're done. So this is one. I just uh, have to find my coolers. I have a bunch laying around. Okay, so this one is 52 bucks, okay? And as promised, oh, they have Zisus. Oh, they have uh, some manual, some documentation. Okay, nothing actually. It just talks about plugging the stuff. Okay, this I like. Although it is pretty standard on every motherboard now, I, I kind of memorized it. But I like this. I always Google it and find it. But now they have it here, which I'm going to use actually. The, the BIOS configuration, nothing special. And press the delete key to BIOS F7 to enter USB flash drive for quick boot. Hmm. Okay, I did not know that. That's good. Okay, so this is that's something for 52 bucks, right? And it looks even same color. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, it's a different, yeah, so it's definitely not same. So, again, let's be, not, before we forget, we are expecting no RAM and we have $52 and motherboard CPU should be 2650. Let me see. 2650, as you can see here. Uh, yeah, here, it's 2650. So, yeah, it's a little bit different than that, obviously. There is four RAM slots. A single PCIe X16, which is so close. I don't know. The RAM is going to be up, up, up to here. Okay, it's closed state, but look at the clearance in here. Okay, I'm gonna try this, uh, and then we'll talk about it. But exactly what is promised. Okay, the CPU is there. The motherboard is there. There is a PCIe slot in here. There is an X4 probably PCIe slot over here. This one is also all black, so I'm assuming it's all USB 2s. Ethernet, Gigabit, and the audio and the PS2. Nothing special. Uh, this, this one is also a little bit dirty. I mean, in ter for the CPU and the thermal pad, thermal paste, not pad. And four, and that also had four SATA. So yeah, they are kind of same, very similar at least. Okay, to the last one. Okay, let me take this out. Oh, by the way, what we are expecting first. So motherboard, RAM, and CPU, and 2680 and 16 gigabyte RAM. Let's see. Okay, see, that's that's nice. That's a little bit cleaner at least. I think it's new production, Hynix. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's there's a Hynix chip in there. Okay, there you go. I'm looking for the size. It doesn't say, there is no sticker or anything. Hopefully it is what they, they promised. So it should be 8, 8, and 16. A little bit dirty, it's fine. Okay, okay, so yeah, let me take that out. That's also exactly like this one. I mean, very, very similar, just look at it. Oh man, it's like exactly the same. Look, it's this one, it, this is green. X, it, it says in green, I mean, you can see it on the other camera better. This is X99 P4 in green, this is in white. And I'm. that's the only difference I'm seeing and the pattern here and the pattern there everything else is identical okay so this one 52 this is 68 the extra amount you're paying i'm gonna say is for 16 gigabyte ram but this one is 2680 yes as promised this is 2680 this one is uh 2650 so keep in mind this one was 52 let me confirm yeah so this is 52 this is 68. The $16 difference between will have a different CPU. You get 16 gigabyte RAM with this one, not this one, the no RAMs for this one, okay? So I'm gonna, again, as I said, I'm gonna use the RAM they provided, not the one I am. So I'm gonna use these uh, black ones closer to the CPU. Okay. Okay, this is what I got. I'm still very suspicious of this. I don't think you can put a 26, 2060 GTX in here. I'm gonna try. Let me grab my uh, coolers and the graphics card and power supply and I will be right back. Okay, I brought enough uh, coolers. And yeah, I quickly tested this and uh, yeah, apparently 
you see it, it, it kind of fits right there you see it goes in but it is so close I don't know if you can see it on the camera yeah it's right there anyway yeah it works it fits it doesn't I we don't know if it works or not yet and uh, yeah I placed this uh, in there this is a Zotac 2060 okay so let me install the coolers which probably I should have installed the coolers first before doing everything else and rams and stuff but doesn't matter uh yeah let's go into fast forward mode let me take care of this real quick and uh yeah let me do that i wired up everything uh, i put the atx connector to sata and uh, two SATA discs and I put the 2016 here power supply it's powered on and the power connector so yeah let's give it a shot okay nothing happened why huh okay so that one was a short test yeah, the Zisus is not even turning on at all. Like, uh, if it was CPU or RAM fault, at least it would turn on. I mean, the wiring is all correct. I can tell this is CPU, this is motherboard. Just these two enough just to turn on. It does not turn on. And the pinouts, uh, I'm sure of it. Uh, these are all based on yeah it matches even the description on the board yes i am confident even if we remove every single thing and just put the power software yeah it doesn't turn on so i have to move on i'm going to remove this i'm gonna for now chalk it as not working i will check it later okay let's keep going to the next one Okay, as you can see, this one, I didn't change anything. So yeah, I just moved everything over here and first try it worked. I was going to just do a test, but glad I was recording the video. So yes, absolutely. That piece of motherboard does not work and wasted all my time. This is the Zisus. That's the Asus impersonator for 52 bucks. Yeah, it just uh, didn't work for whatever reason doesn't even power on at all like you might say okay maybe you installed RAM incorrectly which is not maybe you CPU maybe this maybe that it just doesn't turn on at all so yeah this is uh, I'm gonna check on that later so see that that's why I'm checking for you guys so you don't waste your money let me waste the money so yeah uh, as you can tell that one uh, is faulty and doesn't work at all so let's get into the uh, BIOS of this one and take a quick look. Okay, so we are in the BIOS and as you can see, it is consuming 114 and 15 watts. Okay, and here as you can see in the BIOS, 16 gigabyte RAM sent by the vendor themselves. This is the $50 motherboard, not that junk $52 Zsus thingy. Uh, this is actually x79 though this is not x99 yes it is 2689 2.6 gigahertz boost clock is 2600 and the base is apparently 12 and there are eight cores though eight cores that's awesome okay hyper threading is by default enabled uh, Okay, and gigabit ethernet, exactly as I suspected, that's gigabit. And there is ME subsystem, and it is enabled, and that's the version, okay? For those of you, you have already seen my other videos, uh, you know, how I removed that. So you can go do that. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Then I've done it multiple times. Hard disk drives, yes, it detected everything. That's my two terabyte NVMe SSD, that's right there. And the two SSDs is right here. And the USB is uh, the where Ubuntu is, the, so which I'm gonna boot into now. So this looks amazing. And I'm gonna boot into Ubuntu now. So yeah, see? So it's not the price. 
So this is a $50 motherboard. I was correct. $50 motherboard came with 16 gigabyte RAM, came with a CPU, which is eight core and 2.6 boost and 1.2 base. And graphic card PCIe worked, NVMe SSD worked, SATA disks worked. So everything so far is working. I and mean, there's the power consumption, 128, 118. Uh, yeah, so let me actually boot into Ubuntu Live. I, I am going to install a bunch of, uh, you know, the usual stuff uh, that I use for benchmarking. And then we take it from there. Let's go into fast forward. Okay, so we are back. As you can see on the screen, let, let me just run a new fetch. That's Ubuntu 22 and it is running Xeon 2689 and NVIDIA GeForce 2060 straight out of box. Everything is working, including the Ethernet. And if I open the Gparted, I just want to show you that all the disks are also working. Yeah, that's the NVMe SSD, SATA, SATA. Everything is working. A very quick benchmark on the HD Parm though. I, I want to make sure it's actually really working properly. NVMe zero, what is that? N1, okay, let's try. And by the way, power consumption is idle is like 65 watts. That's kind of fair. And yeah, look at the speed, uh, 1600 megabytes per second, which is awesome. And uh, if I try, let's say uh, Sysbench. Oh, by the way, what is the, okay, so eight core 16 threads okay we have 16 threads now let's do a sysbench with all the 16 threads okay and cpu run look at the power consumption we went all the way to 163 watts including 2060 is there and the cpu is being used 100 percent and if i run a p sensor which i should have ran before yeah, the temperatures are good. Temperatures are good. The cooler is good. Everything is good here and no issues there. But I am still going to open this up so you can see it. Okay. And uh, let's do a stress NG. Okay. We are running and it will, it goes up to 168 uh, watts. Okay. And uh, that's when 100% all 16 threads eight cores of this CPU is used. As you can see on the screen, P-Sensor 100%. Okay, so we are done. And the score is, wow, 46,000. That's awesome. So CPU is really powerful. And uh, I don't think uh, the MID, what was that? The MID code is 7 right? Okay, I don't think there is ECC, but I just want to make sure, uh, where is it? Seven, not seven, 17, sorry, right? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Actually, I take that back. That's ECC. That's awesome. So far, this is the first motherboard I'm seeing out of box. ECC is working and NVMe is working and speeds are amazing. I really, really started to love this particular motherboard. This is great. I was not expecting that at all. I just, I, I, I was hesitant to even run the command, but amazing, 46,000. And uh, uh, what was the Sysbench score? I didn't even check. I was busy with something else, I think. Yes, yeah, Sysbench score is 11,000. Okay, so 11,000 suspense score and 46,000 stress NG score, which is better, more accurate. And uh, there is this ACC enabled and power consumption idle is 60 watts. And if you start using everything, yes, then it will go up to 160 watts. And if you start putting more pressure on the GPU, obviously based on what you are using, it will go even higher. But this is amazing. Everything is working. So let me see if we can uh, dump also the the uh, bias. I'm not gonna do it. I just want to see if I can do it. That's it. Don't show this. I forgot the command. What was that?
Okay, so we have uh, multiple detections and I am just going to go with the first one. It's fine. So yeah, dash C this. Okay, so yeah, it's reading the BIOS chip. Uh, that's eight kilobyte looks a little bit different than what I'm used to, but yeah, it is reading it. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Okay, I said I'm not gonna do it. I couldn't control myself, I just did it. So yeah, I'm not gonna flash it back though. Yeah, so we dumped the BIOS correctly. Intel ME was detected, the version is detected, and I was able to read it, and I created a removed BIOS image, which I can flash it back. But I'm gonna say, honestly, I'm very, very surprised with this motherboard. I was not expecting a $50 motherboard to do all the stuff which is doing, which is great. And uh, the other thing I wanted to make sure is the iPerf3, uh, that the Ethernet is actually really one gigabit, although it's not a huge bar to clear really a gigabit on a, this motherboard. But yeah, anyway, let's see. Yeah, as said, as I said, yeah, it's, it's always that. Okay, so yeah, this is perfect motherboard. Every single thing is working. And uh, yeah, this is unlike the other one. Uh, it's all good. Now we are going to go to the most expensive one, okay? I don't have to clean shut down. All right, let's go into fast forward mode. Let me move this stuff around. So I plugged everything in and first try, there you go. Immediately it jumps to 100 and whatever. So it is again working. So once again, this motherboard, I'm gonna go after these guys. I'm gonna message the guys. That's terrible. I know it's like $52, but doesn't matter. It doesn't even power on. And I thought like I have something done. I have done something wrong. You know, so some miswiring or anything. Nothing. Most of the motor works works. It's just this. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Let's go move on to the, the the next one. Always the initial first boot will take a while. And uh, by the way, this is the RAM they shipped it with. So I, if it doesn't work. It's not my concern that I'm going to chalk it up as not working. End of story. I already got the best deal on over there. $50 motherboard with this great CPU and the RAM and ECC and 160 watt. Everything is working perfectly. NVMe was uh, doing 1600 megabyte per second. Yeah, it was all great. So if this one doesn't work, it just doesn't work. We move on. We make that a M vids motherboard the clear winner. Okay, I give up. It doesn't boot. So the only thing I'm suspecting and because it looks really odd is going to be this RAM. But although uh, it is not showing any error code or nothing on the screen, I'm just guessing that it is related to the RAM. I don't know. I'm just I just want to make sure this just looks odd. I never seen a RAM like this. So I'm going to borrow the RAM from that great, great motherboard uh, that is $50 and everything worked out of box okay am vids so let me put the rams from that motherboard in this there you go all right all right all right so i got it i just moved the ram to the green side the to both green sides so it the farther from the the cpu that then it started to work i don't know what was going on and yes it detected the 16 uh, gigabytes so yeah Anyway, it is working exactly with their own, whatever they shipped. And this one is X99. So that one is X79, this one is X99. And the $52 Zsu's one doesn't even work, okay? And the trusted computing, no security device, okay. So let's keep going. Uh, okay, the bifurcation stuff, as you all already know from my other videos. Uh, it's always in IIO, okay, and then the IIO general config uh, configuration here, sorry, yeah, there is the bifurcation stuff, and uh, let's see, uh, processor configuration, and yep, there you go, 2680v4, 2.4 gigahertz base clock, okay, and uh, yeah, everything looks to be in order here, and let's see if it detected all my disks, yeah, so I already see one, two, three. Okay, yeah, it detected all my disks as well. Okay, so let's put into Ubuntu on this one and do exactly what we did on the other one. So we are booted into Ubuntu and out of box, everything is internet is working. And now I'm just going to install a bunch of uh, packages and then we take it from there. Let's go into fast forward.
Okay, so I installed everything. The idle on this one is 76. And uh, if we run nproc, you will see that we have 28 threads, okay? So it's 14 core, 28 threads. And it does uh, have a very, it's, so that's why idle on this one is a little bit higher, obviously. So if we start with the benchmarks, right? Let's, uh, let, let me open this up, okay? And uh, let's start with the suspension. Okay, so yeah, obviously double the other one, uh, 20,000. And if we do stress NG, I'm sure we are going to get similar end results in here. Okay, everything is in order. Yeah, let's run the, let run the test. And power consumption goes higher. So this one goes up to 175 watts, okay? So 175 watts when the CPU is under 100% load along with the GPU is not really much in use and uh, yeah, everything else in the motherboard. So it's a little bit high power consumption, but also 28 threads and it's 14 cores, okay? So, uh, but overall it looks, it looks like everything is working and temperatures are great. Hopefully it's not something funky going on in the uh, in a bias and on the reporting, but I don't think so. Oh yeah, so this is 68,000, okay? Obviously, more powerful. So, long story short, we got 16 gigabyte RAM and we got 16 gigabyte RAM on the AM bits, okay? The $16 difference you're paying is for the uh, CPU performance, okay? And, uh, and uh, yeah, it is, it, is, it is what it is. So this one is, uh, is doing better. So uh, if we want to do iPerf3, obviously not really needed, but I just want to make sure. Okay. Yep, so that's also a gigabit ethernet. That's definitely working. And the other thing I wanted to make sure are the disks. So if we go to Gparted, I, I'm sure it's, it detected. Yeah, okay, so NVMe and 2 is there, okay. And if we do the same HD Parm test, okay. And if we do the same test, yeah, so this is much faster. So this one is getting 25. And by the way, it's exactly the same NVMe SSD. It's not, I just moved it from the other one to this one. So this is faster on everything, uh, on a CPU and IO. And uh, the last thing I wanted to test is the flash ROM. Okay, so, so first try, it already is reading the, uh, the BIOS and I'm not gonna try the other stuff. So yeah, power consumption is also there. When it's uh, not under 100% consumption, but under some use, it's 97, 98 by, uh, bytes, uh, sorry, watts, okay? <laughs> so uh, we covered everything. AM vids one, the, the $50 one, uh, you will need to <clears throat> provide your own RAM because it just comes with the CPU, but it's $50, okay? Uh, this one is $68. The CPU is much, much more powerful and comes with 16 gigabyte RAM of its own. Everything is working on it. Uh, the NVMe SSD slot is also faster. All other ports, gigabit Ethernet is working. So perfectly working a gaming computer for uh, $68. Absolutely go for it. It just works. This one also same, but you just have to provide your own RAM and it supports ECC, by the way. Oh, did we test ECC on this one? I'm, I don't think it will work, but yeah, my decode HD17. Okay, not populated. Yeah, the, the populated ports. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, no ECC, okay? So there is no ECC on this one. Uh, so in summary, no RAM, $50. And VM SSD is a little bit slower than this one. And, but have an ECC if you put an ECC RAM. This one uh, comes with, uh, you know, the uh, 16 gigabyte RAM, but no ECC. The CPU is much faster. NVMe slot is faster. And this garbage, yeah, so this, this thing, the Zsus, Asus impersonator, does not even turn on at all. Uh, whatever I did, I just, uh, yeah, I don't know what was going on. And it, fresh out of box, I did not, uh, you know, do anything. I didn't install my own RAM. It's the RAM they shipped it with, and uh, it just doesn't work. 
Just one last note, I tried again. I, I tried to give it another chance. I removed all the SATA, didn't put the NVMe SSD, just the CPU, GPU. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, doesn't turn on, okay? So yeah, definitely I do not recommend the, the Zsus one. Absolutely not. And I will be in touch with the vendor, which I don't think it will go anywhere, okay? Uh, I just wanted to let you know. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know down below and I will try to answer them as much as I can. I, I, I see them when I find time. Okay. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye for now.